Health is defined as the general condition of the body. People can be described as being in good health or in poor health. Good health involves the condition of being sound in body, mind, or spirit, especially being free of disease or pain. Health can be envisioned as a model called the health triangle. Just like a triangle has three angles, personal health has three components that are important to focus on. The three angles of the health triangle are physical health, social health, and mental or emotional health. In order to maintain overall good health and well being, it is important to promote healthy activities and good choices in all three areas. Some activities might fall closer to one area of the health triangle than others, while some activities might seem to fit into more than one category depending on how you view it. Let's look at a few specific examples of activities and where they might fall on the health triangle. Exercises like jogging, swimming, or bike riding belong in the physical health area of the health triangle. These activities burn calories, promote cardiovascular health and endurance, and help to build muscle tone. Visiting the doctor for regular checkups and keeping immunizations up to date are also activities that fall in the physical health realm. These activities help to promote early detection and treatment of illnesses and helps to keep your body free of disease. Healthy diets rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean meats help to nourish your body with important vitamins and minerals. Limiting foods that are high in fat and sugar content helps to keep weight in a healthy range. Choosing a healthy diet is another aspect of physical health. For many people, their conception of health ends with the physical realm. Equally as important, however, is our mental and emotional health and our social health. It might be a bit more difficult to think of activities that fall under these areas, but let's try. Mental and emotional health involves how you think and feel and how you cope with situations that arise in your life. Avoiding stress and learning to deal constructively with stressful situations is an important component of mental and emotional health. Sometimes stress is an unavoidable part of life. We can avoid or decrease our stress levels by breaking large tasks down into small, approachable steps. And prioritizing them based on importance. Budgeting time appropriately to meet deadlines instead of waiting until the last minute is also a good stress reducing strategy. Learning is another part of mental and emotional health. Reading, playing mind games or puzzles, and learning new things inside and outside of school all fall under the mental health category. Meditation is another activity. That promotes good mental and emotional health. Even if it's just for five or ten minutes during the day, finding time to meditate can generate a sense of peace and calmness in life. Meditation involves sitting or laying down quietly and clearing your mind of all thoughts. Playing soft music, focusing on your breath, or counting slowly are all techniques that help with meditation. The final category of the health triangle is social health. Social health focuses on your relationships with other people. Spending quality time with family and friends is an important aspect of social health. Sharing a meal, participating in a fun activity, or simply holding a conversation together are ways of fostering relationships with others. Avoiding abusive relationships is a vital component of social health. Abuse can take on many forms. Verbal, mental, physical, emotional, or even sexual abuse. Sometimes it can be very difficult to break away from abusive relationships, especially if the abuse is coming from a family member, close friend, or a boyfriend or girlfriend. Talking to an adult that you trust can help pave the way out if you have trouble cutting ties on your own. The activities we listed so far fit somewhat neatly into one of the three areas of the health triangle. Other activities bridge the divide between categories. Establishing good sleep habits, for example, is important for both your physical and mental and emotional health. 
It is recommended that an individual get eight hours of sleep daily. Giving your mind and body the rest it needs can reduce stress and promote physical well being. Seeking therapy from a licensed mental health professional, guidance counselor, or school psychologist is a way to promote both mental and emotional health and social health. Attending counseling sessions can help alleviate anxiety caused by stressful or unhappy situations in life. It can also help to improve relationships with our family members and friends. Groups like Al Anon and Alateen host free meetings to help people cope with substance abuse either in themselves or in close friends or family. Many religious institutions also offer free counseling to those who request it. Some activities could be placed in the center of the health triangle because they help to promote all aspects of a healthy lifestyle. Joining a sports team like soccer, volleyball, or track obviously d e v e l o p a person's physical health because they have an exercise component. But joining a sports team can also promote self confidence and positive thinking and reduce stress, all components of mental and emotional health. Furthermore, by joining a sports team, a person is bound to make friends that would promote social health. Yoga is also an activity that encompasses all three domains of the health triangle. Yoga poses tone muscle while developing flexibility. Most yoga classes include a final relaxation and meditation that promote peace of mind. Finally, the principles of yoga, like acceptance and nonviolence, encourage healthy relationships with others. If you were to complete a health triangle of your own, what activities would you place in each corner of the triangle? Would your triangle seem balanced? What activities could you add to your lifestyle in order to improve your overall health and make your triangle more balanced?